My worst nightmare happened, and of course I was not on site. Jesus calls me, the crew leader for this job site, and he says, T, something horrible happened. A lady that was walking by fell, and her face is bleeding. And I was like, what? I was like, Are, is she okay? And he's like, kind of. And I was like, please take a picture, play, take a video, like, what did it, what's going on? Send it to me. And I was super, number one, confused, concerned, and just really in shock about what happened. And so was he on the phone. He was actually quite scared. I rushed over here. I got in my car and I rushed over here. Obviously this is the next day. I'll tell you what happened. Let me break it down for you. Okay, this job site, we're pouring concrete. The concrete truck backed up all the way here and his boom was just hanging out right here and the boys were wheelbarrowing the concrete into the sidewalk area. Okay, fine, great idea. So the concrete truck backed up in here. Obviously this place is very small. It's not that big. Look, this place is very small. It's not that big. So the concrete trucks, you know, they're very, very large. So he backed up and he's at a sideways angle. He started from here all the way over there. Now that we have that, there was about this much room from here to about here where you can walk through. I can walk, you can walk, no problem. But there's this kind, sweet grandma that walks by every single day and she has her little stroller. And I think she's going out for just her normal exercise routine of walking in the morning, which is very healthy and we respect her for that. And we see her every single day, we just wave to her and say hi. We don't know her name. But grandma was walking and then she came up to the concrete truck and then she said to the concrete driver, can I walk through here? And the concrete guy said, yes. Instead of saying no, turn around, go back home, he said yes. So she walked through. So she got her walker and she was walking by and the little tennis ball area got caught on here. And I don't even know how, somehow she fell right onto her face. And th there was like blood coming all over her face. The picture I saw, which is this one right here, this is a thumbnail. I can't really show her face because it'd be rude, but I just wanted you to see how much blood, it was a, it was a ton of blood. So of course, Jesus came over and he was like, do you need me to call the ambulance? Should I call the ambulance? She, he calls me and he's like, should I call the ambulance? I'm like, if she's bleeding, call the ambulance. Jesus goes to the homeowner, the homeowner runs out and the homeowner comes in, we should call an ambulance. Jesus is like, okay, I'll call an ambulance. And then the, the old lady, the grandma, she was like, no, call my husband. The husband comes over in a car, picks her up, puts her in a car, takes her home. Fortunately for us, we did see her the next day and we did wave to her. There was no hostility, she waved back, fortunately. Luckily for us, she didn't get super hurt and grandma's still gonna live on, which is fantastic. Great offer, I'm so happy about that. A Little bit of drama, of course, this is the part of owning a business. You're gonna have to deal with some of these things. You're gonna have to deal with some of these things and life comes at you in many different ways. We did everything we could. We tried to call the ambulance. One little incident like this as a business owner, if you're not properly insured, bonded, have all the licensing, uh, workman's comp, it can really, really take you out of business and you can go heavily sued and go down the drain. America, you live here, you need insurances, you need all the protection that you can get, corporation, LLC, all that stuff. Make sure you have all that, but because we're gonna turn a bad day into a good day, she did survive, so it's not a super bad day. We're gonna go around, I'm gonna show you the job sites that we're doing. We have three crews right now, three job sites, and I just wanted to show you in person what we're doing and describe the whole process and see if you guys can learn a thing or two from old T. I have gray hairs, bro. Like, I know what I'm talking about. I'm literally at that age, 33. In a couple of months, I'll be 34. First job site, let's go. So we had about five yards of concrete come in and we installed this red concrete, which right now looks fantastic. As you see, this is called red tile to match that tile up there. The actual concrete color is called red tile. It looks good right now, but when it dries, you better believe it's not gonna be this color. It's gonna be light, light, light pink. Right, Eric? Huh? This is not gonna look like it when it dries. No, it's gonna look like that. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna change a little bit. Light, light, light pink. <laughs> yeah. This is our way to get in so we have a very tight space to work in it's not that big obviously this is an alleyway behind the house the front of the house is way over there but the alley is here this is why we had to bring the truck over yonder you know i've never used that word yonder these are the floating steps that we're gonna do right here and then 
up over here, this is the entire backyard. So we already put the pavers in. We got pergola installed. And this is gonna be a pergola with a roof, but right now there's some confusion between the homeowner and what he wants and what he's getting. So we're gonna figure that out. Barbecue, great offer. Let's see. God damn, are you for real? For five yards of concrete, they charge $2,000. That's crazy. That's a horrible offer. $400 a yard. I paid $630 in color. Who would have known? That sucks. I'm kind of upset about that. I didn't know it was gonna be that much. Pergola is here. Pavers are here. Everything is here. We have a gas line going all the way from over there. Come in here. And then here is gonna go the grill, the doors, doors. And I think this is a garbage can. And this is gonna be all counter space right here. Everything is looking pretty good. Let's go to the next job. Let's see what else we got. All right, we are at the job site number two. Obviously a little bit of a weather change. It started raining a little bit. I'll walk you around to show you what we're doing here. This is Caesar's job site. First job site was Jesus. Caesar's job site, they're ripping out all of the driveway, which is my favorite, by the way. I love when we do driveways because access is fantastic and getting everything out super easy first tool in hand boom right here ten thousand dollars for this piece of equipment jackhammer eighty thousand dollars for that right there 279 great offer and this is the trailer a little bit messy today but we've been having lots of rain so i guess the boys have not been cleaning it but one thing you can always find in the trailer is high fructose corn syrup yum i'm gonna take you guys on some free game you see that this is how they get the natural curves for the walkways. PVC pipe, very easy. You stick one point, you stick another point, you stick another point, and then boom, you bend it, and then you draw it. Perfect lines. Concrete walkway, concrete walkway, concrete driveway, and then another little section right here. And then let's go in the backyard to see what they got going. I really tried to convince the homeowner to have us take this out, but he didn't want it. This doesn't make any sense. This annoys me. Wow, look at this. So this was not here. We wanted, he wanted this to be like a raised up area to have like a little lounge where you can put an umbrella, you can put chairs, and we put lights in the back right here. These are by Inlight, which are fantastic. We poured a concrete border. We installed a Teco block roughing out of caps, mortar these in right here, installed that on sand with polymeric sand. These are lights that go underneath this is gonna make it glow, which is badass. My favorite types of lights. And then over there, if you look, there's gonna be just grass and just random shit, whatever. Nobody cares about that. And if you haven't seen my impression of the Apple Vision Pro Landscapers Edition, pulling up blueprints, surfing the web, Googling stuff, click the link somewhere on the screen, probably below, and you'll see that video. This is what we're doing on job site number two. Let's go to number three. And on to job site number three. So obviously, a lot of you know that we have the 3000, which in my opinion is one of the best full-size loaders you can get. Not paid sponsor, even though I tried to be paid by Ditch Witch, but they told me to kick rocks. That's what I gotta say about that. I tried to get a sponsorship with Ditch Witch and they told me no. I'm like, bro, you guys are stupid, but whatever. Trailer, trailer, a little bit of dirt, getting it ready for the plants. And right now we're doing pavers. So let's go in the back and I'll show you how it's done. Every single job has one of these trucks and a bathroom. A lot of you don't have a bathroom and I think that's a bad offer. Again, look at the bricks. See, those two houses are very close to each other and there's bricks. Homeowner didn't want us to do anything in the front yard. She just wants her backyard. So I said, okay, fine. But going in the back, you're gonna see a lot of stuff, mostly pavers. So you might be wondering, T, why is this red and why is this gray? Not up to us. The homeowner wanted separation between patio and walkway. So this is the only thing that we could think of to deliver on that. Again, walkway, patio, which is weird, but it is what it is. And then walkway goes all the way down. Here actually goes a pergola. So we're gonna install four wooden posts those right there upon here we're gonna do this after the fact we're gonna lift the pavers up and then throw them in pretty good works for us might work for you the other way this is the drainage pit see that right there that's where all the downspouts go in and then some of you have this like orange imer or orange iq saw which is like waterless but it's very loud and annoying we have these made in italy 
These are designer, made by Louis Vuitton and Gucci. See, right there. Same makers that make Louis make that. And we install this as a splash guard because if you don't, then this fence is gonna be ruined and it actually stains the fence, which is not good. You have two options as a contractor to have a snack. This, which everybody knows is no good. This, which everybody knows is good. Oh gee, what about the sugar though? What about the sugar? This is nature's candy. And another good thing about this, it's free. I just stole it off a tree. So it makes it that much better. Free, better than paid. Let's go. Okay, now this is the end result. Let me take you around and show you all the cool stuff we did. Obviously it'd be much better looking if there was summertime and the trees were in full bloom, but it's okay. This, this right here is a Calistone. This is Travertine, which came out phenomenal in my opinion. The homeowner is going to get a brand new door. We installed bluestone steppers right here leading up to his tree, which is going to be a future Washington Naval Orange. All right. Yum. I wish I could steal some, but there's nothing there. Nice boulders. These are the same boulders we can use for ponds. I know we can use these. Let's see if I can make it here. Very nice organic maintenance free planters. More pavers leading up. All right, now the real money makers in the backyard. This is going to be Teco Block uh, Yellow something. It's a uh, big, big format pavers, which is cool. Awesome lights from Inlight. Very modern. La Paz everywhere. For those of you that don't know, this stone is very expensive. I think I spent maybe $5,000 on stone alone. This was a Timber Tech bench. This is one of the coolest fire pits ever. It's so big. The element alone was $5,000 and we had these cool lava rocks installed. One thing that we learned, these outlets for the gas cannot be touching the rocks. Otherwise the rocks turn black like that. So the flame has to be going out by itself. Knowing that we maybe could install this a little bit higher and put less rocks, maybe like two layers of rocks instead of like three or four. These are gonna be very nice column plants. They're Indian laurels growing all the way. This is a nice fountain, which I didn't know much about fountains before, but this one is gonna be cool. Barbecue kitchen. The electrician is here installing one more outlet. So you can excuse, excuse me for the inconvenience of having someone work here while we're doing the final tour. I'm very sorry, I apologize. Floating steps with lights underneath. And one of my favorite features which I didn't think I would like so much is these Corten planters. These are fantastic. They look very rustic. They have utility to them. Just look so cool. One thing that we have to do is sink these in the ground. If we sank them on the travertine, then you'd see a big rust stain everywhere. So if you see here, there's like a little gap in between. That gap will make the rust go down and then run out. Same with these guys, Corten planters with little bushes. I don't know what these bushes are, but they're here and they look great. One thing I would have, I tried to get the homeowner to do was paint this fence black. He declined, he said, maybe later. I said, okay, you did spend 350,000. The kitchen, now check this out. There's an outlet here. This material is very, very nice. And well, I don't wanna take this apart, but here are the pictures of the grill. We got a photographer to take pictures. And the reason we used Indian laurels throughout, and by the way, shout out to Taylor because he designed this whole thing. The reason we use these because Indian laurels are very low maintenance, very low water. California loves them. The liberals love them because they're super friendly and they're evergreen. My personal favorite. They don't lose their leaves and they always stay beautiful. So that's a day in the life. We started with a horrible offer. I hope the lady's okay. I really do hope we see her walking, maybe not tomorrow, but hopefully next week. And we're gonna say hi and give her a box of chocolates and say, please, if you see a concrete truck, go the other way. <laughs> but yeah, I, hope, I really hope she's okay. And I took you on some job sites. Pretty soon what we're gonna be doing is having a, I'm looking, at, I'm actually looking for another cameraman. I'm looking for someone that can be a dedicated cameraman on a job site. So if that's you watching, Hit me up on Instagram and we'll talk. I'm gonna make it a new series pretty soon, Problems at the Job Site. And it's gonna be a vlog throughout the whole day of what the boys do and how they do it. So you guys can see how construction happens. I know a lot of you are also very curious about the construction aspect. 
And when it comes to the running the business, I can teach you a lot. But when it comes to actually hands-on building stuff, I can't really have any input. That's where Jose and all the other boys come in. Jose, Caesar, Martin, a fan favorite. Of course, Puma and Jesus. Jesus doesn't like to be on camera, but we'll get him. We'll get him to switch. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. See you later. Adios. Stop looking your nuts, bro.